Hello everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome to another video. Uh, today, uh, I just thought I would make a quick video telling you guys about uh, my experience with Ubuntu Linux, and um, yeah, the distribution that I'm currently using, and just sort of what, I've, what I'm going to be doing, um, and the reasons I've been sort of switching to this distribution. Um, so, this is basically Kubuntu Linux, however, it is not, it is KDE Neon uh, Linux, which is basically the same, only it's different. <laughs> They're both Ubuntu-based uh, Linux distros, um, so I, there's not really many differences between, you know, Kubuntu and <clears throat> KDE Neon. If there are several, you know, significant differences, then uh, just feel free to let me know in the comments below, but uh, I don't actually, I'm not familiar with any significant differences between KDE Neon and Kubuntu, um, so I'm basically going to say that I have been, uh, I'm switching from Ubuntu Linux, from basically vanilla Ubuntu Linux, to a, <clears throat> a um, KDE Plasma Linux distribution, and the KDE Plasma Linux distribution that I have uh, chosen is KDE Neon, which I've said several times now, which I really don't need to repeat myself several times because you guys can just rewind the video. <laughs> Anyways, I have been using Ubuntu Linux, vanilla Ubuntu Linux, that is, you know, with the GNOME 3 desktop environment. I've been using that distribution for about two, maybe three months now. Uh, no, I probably two months. I've been using Ubuntu 19.04 for about two months now, and let me say, it is a great distribution. I love it, not to death, because it's not really something you love to death. But I love that distribution. It's just such a stable release of Ubuntu uh, Linux. It's The GNOME desktop environment was significantly improved from the previous Ubuntu 18.10. Um, I actually made a review of that distribution, I think. It was either 18.04 or 18.10 that I did a review of. Might have even been both. Um, if I did, then just go ahead and check out the uh, link in the uh, description, because those will be in the description if I actually made those videos. <clears throat> yeah, as I said, Ubuntu Linux 19.04 was just such a stable, awesome, lovely, lovely release. <laughs> um, and yeah, I I've been using it for about two months, and um, I'm not get really, I didn't really get bored of it. However, I thought I would just try something else since I've been using Ubuntu Linux for quite a while. Um, as I said, great distribution. You guys should check it out. Uh, I'll, also, I'll also leave a download link of Ubuntu 19.04 in the video description, um, as well as KDE Neon in the video description. But anyways, um, yeah, I have switched to KDE Neon. Um, I actually just switched to it about, I think, yesterday. Um, I haven't actually been using it a whole lot. You know, I just set it up with, you know, my lovely Numix theming, because you guys know me. I love the Numix theme. <laughs> um... Well, yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you guys very, very much for, uh, tuning in to this quick little, quick little, I guess, sort of Ubuntu and KDE Neon update video, you know, the Linux distributions I've currently been using video. So I will give you guys an update, uh, by the, uh, I'll say by next Friday, um, actually we'll see, uh, possibly by next Friday, but I'll give you guys an update sometime next week of uh, my experience with KDE Neon, because this is actually one of my first times using KDE Neon. I've actually never used it as a, um, you know, as a main operating system, as a main distribution on my main computer. Main, main, main. <laughs> you know, if you're into that sort of stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, anyways, guys, as I said, it has come towards the end of this video now. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.